Kelly got them both Halloween toys in August, which is fine. Yeah, We're <laughs> we celebrate early in this house. It's fall already here. So it's been about a week since we've had Harley. She's grown a good amount, honestly. Harley, see her over there? <laughs> she has a little shirt on right now, but they're just playing. It's been about a week since we've had her, and we've had a rough one, but... She's getting better every single day, and it's great. She's learning more and more, but I will say she's a baby crier at nighttime, and that is the most difficult part, I think. She's learning not to pee on the carpet, which is great because um, even though we do pay pet deposits and stuff, we don't want it to freaking smell in here. So every time she has an accident on the carpet, we're scrubbing like on her hands and knees with soap and water and air freshener and vacuuming so um she's learning more and more for now we have like little puppy pads set up over there and for the most part she knows to go to them but she was not agreeing to the puppy food that we were giving her i'm not sure if they weren't really eating that yet because she was only like six and a half weeks so she probably had just gotten off um eating from the mom and um that's probably the food they recommended but she probably wasn't eating it yet because she had like constant diarrhea for like four days and it wasn't bad it wasn't like you know where she looked sick it looked like her food it just she wasn't used to it yet so we started giving her a bland diet because that's what um callie called the vet and explained like her symptoms and stuff like that and they told us just to do a bland diet so we've been doing like boiled chicken and white rice today i incorporated just like a plain scrambled egg and that's what she's been doing because we give her her food like as little treats when we ask her to sit and you know when she goes to potty and stuff like that hopefully she gets used to it and hopefully she's not allergic to anything in it because we paid 50 dollars for that 30 pound bag and it's just a huge bag that we have sitting in a closet that we don't use because she's not agreeing with it so she's coming along and she's growing up every single day and um yeah but before y'all keep watching this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you like videos like this let me know and yeah the potty harley has a little shirt on i don't know if y'all saw earlier remy has to put on her harness because the chick gets out of her collar so we just brought them out to enjoy some sun and some grass because she's tired of being up in the apartment i'm sure she doesn't want to be out here she probably wants to be inside but She'll only use the restroom outside. She will not do it on the pee pads, which is a good thing. But when it's raining, which it does a lot here, it's kind of hard because she's all furry and I don't like for her to get wet, but she don't like to use the restroom inside. So that's okay. She's wandering off over there. She's getting so big. that we got from Sam's and then we just got a few things from Kroger's but we're gonna unpack it and then I'll show y'all all what we got and then the totals of everything and then we'll wrap up this haul but we got a bunch of stuff so far I can go ahead and explain this we got toilet paper and paper towels for about the next couple of months if y'all don't have a Sam's membership I recommend them just so you can buy toilet paper and paper towels in bulk because here in this apartment, we go through paper towels like freaking crazy. So that was a good investment for both of them. The toilet paper will probably also last us another couple, like three months, honestly. So that's nice not having to worry about finding toilet paper or paper towels. Paper towels. 
if you don't mind my child and their toys. We got these puppy pads. These are 120 pads. We only paid about $15, uh, $16, rounded up, for those because this child, um, she's not fully potty trained, so when she does use the restroom in the house, we have these for that. We got these, not much explanation for those. These were only, these were on sale for 20 bucks, so that's why we got them. We don't really drink too much, but when we do, we like something fruity and sweet. So that's what we got there. And then from Sam's, we got bacon. These are um, a three pack. They're a pound each, and these were only $10. So we got that because we've been eating a lot of bacon, especially for breakfast, and we incorporate it into our meals, our lunches and our dinners. So that's why we got that. We got these um, mini cucumbers. I like these with um, a ranch dip that I make. And then I got these two salad kits. Um, if y'all watched one of my previous videos, this is a salad that I was talking about. I actually forgot to insert a picture, but these are them. And these are $2.98 each. So I got two of those and they have everything in them, including the dressing. So that's why I like those. And then we got some boneless chicken tenders. These were $19 dollars which is very good because it's about six um almost seven pounds so harley is on a bland diet right now so she eats boiled chicken and boiled rice so that's why we got such a big pack and we also incorporate um chicken tenders and like breasts and stuff like that in our meals so that's why we decided to get it from sam's and then we got this two um 18 packs of eggs we got some brown gravy mix this was from kroger's and then these two ranch dips um i like to put this in sour cream because i mean that's what you're supposed to do and it makes a pretty good dip. So they have it already made, but I really don't like those for some reason. I don't know. It's probably the same thing, but um, I prefer it that way. And then we got some foil, some freezer bags to separate the chicken. We got some bow ties because I like to make my Alfredo with bow ties because I don't really like long pasta noodles for some reason. I don't know. We got these because we make chicken bacon ranch casserole with them. We got two of these pasta sauces just that kind and that kind two different kinds these have become a favorite in our house um they're just like garlic breads but they're super freaking good they taste better than the long loaf and they're only a dollar so we got some of those i got some sour cream also to mix with those little ranch dips and also um just to use for other things i got these keto friendly um wheat tor tortillas these um i think they have like flax grain and whole wheat whole grain um, these were only like four dollars, but there's a pack of twenty. I had but I had been buying the mission ones, the whole wheat, but those are only a pack of eight and they're like five dollars. So that's why I decided just to get these from Sam's. I also picked up these um Quest tortilla style protein chips. These are also keto friendly, so um I picked up those that were on sale for five dollars. So I want to try those out. We got some rice because like I said, Harley is on a bland diet. She eats white rice and chicken. So we got that. We got some lemon. This was three pounds only for $4. So that's why we got those. We got some corn because we made some elote the other day and um, those are good. So that's why we got some more of those. And also because we're gonna make a shrimp boil, we use frozen shrimp. So we picked up another one. We have one already, but um, my mom's coming. So that's why we picked up another one. We picked up some cheese. This is the Mexican style and there's two of them. I believe these were $8. So that's not bad because each one is a pound so we like using these for quesadillas and then just random stuff so we got these the chicken bites these are supposedly a dupe for the chick-fil-a one so that's why we picked those up i got a heavy whipping cream because i make my own whipped cream my own like cold foam and stuff for my coffees some more half and half and then some ground turkey this is four pounds we only paid ten dollars for it so we've been eating ground turkey more than ground beef so that's why we picked those up and we got a bunch of stuff i believe the total at sam's was 199 for all the stuff that we got and then at kroger's it was 20 dollars, i believe so in total about 220 dollars um give or take a little bit so we got a bunch of stuff probably enough to last us for the next honestly month maybe month and a half so we got a bunch of stuff one thing i missed actually this lavender antibacterial soap this is at sam's for only three dollars and um antibacterial is the kind of soap you want to be using especially right now that there's freaking germs everywhere so we got that one that was a good price it's a big bottle so we picked one of those up 
And that was just the overview of all the stuff that we got. But we're going to put this up, make something to eat because we have it eaten pretty much all day. If you enjoyed this video, if y'all want to see more haul videos, give this video a thumbs up. We're probably going to start, um, we're probably going to keep shopping at Sam's as far as, um, like for the months and stuff like that. And then just get little stuff that we need at Kroger's because when we go to Kroger's, we spend twice the amount for maybe about two weeks. So, um, or I mean, pretty much the same amount, but it's about two weeks worth the stuff this will probably last us honestly a whole month month and a half because it's in bulk so um for us it was better to go to sam's and we're only two people but we also have two birch children so that is why but that is it for this video i hope that you all enjoyed it um if you did give it a thumbs up and also again if you haven't done so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in my next one